John here, guys, and today we're talking about the Radio Master RX1. This is a very small and inexpensive receiver that, even if you're on Crossfire, Tracer, or Ghost, you may on occasion be building up something that's a little bit smaller, something that could be a little bit slower, and you don't necessarily need that ultra low latency and large antenna for crossfire instance for every build now those receivers that i mentioned all cost 30 dollars this costs 10.99 so if you're not going to be pushing the limits of latency on a racing track if you're not going to be pushing the limits of range people want a bit more range these days then this would work just fine for many builds and why not keep the build a little simpler keep the cost a little bit lower and that's what this thing does i've put it in the emacs baby hawk 2 hd and it's worked flawlessly i put um, the antennas through both these antenna tubes that go out uh, alongside the rear arms like this. Now this is not the best mounting for reception, but again, I'm not taking this thing long range. Um, it's very similar in size, just a tad smaller than your standard FR Sky XM Plus. Now the XM Plus price has gone up now to about $16, $17. And I think we should all stop supporting FR Sky's scummy business practices. So now there's something by the savior of FPV radios, Radio Master. This is using D8 protocol. So any of your jumpers, Radio Masters, um, that have that multi-protocol module, you'll be able to easily create a model in there for D8 and it binds right up so easily. Telemetry comes through automatically using those three wires only. Uh, has two dipole antennas on there. The other thing I really like with this is in addition to the little instructions it comes with, it also comes with some wire. A lot of times those FR Sky ones don't come with wire, you gotta source your own. Now, I always have a bunch of scraps, but if you are new, you may not always have that. A lot of your premium antennas, like the $30 ones mentioned, all do come. So now you finally have an inexpensive option that you can use for some of these micros where you just don't need to spend the extra 20 bucks. Um, this has worked perfectly fine for the ranges I need Range seems very similar to an XM Plus. I did get a couple of barking at me. Um, I'll show you whenever I did that video where I was testing the DJI video out to a projector, you can actually hear some of the low telemetry warnings. Now I never turned that on on an XM Plus, so I never even knew if I was ever in danger. I never actually got a fail safe at all, so I would feel very comfortable flying this two to 300 yards uh, with a clear line of sight, um, which is you know basically how I used to use that XM Plus, so why not save a couple of bucks? What do you think in the comments, guys? Do you use a $30 receiver for absolutely every build or on some of these ones where you're not pushing it do you want to go ahead and save a couple of bucks? And you got that shiny new Radio Master anyway. Why not use one of these suckers? Thanks, guys.